The goals for 2011, I, I guess there's a, a few um, and it depends, you know, how deeply we want to look into it. But I guess in a, in a general sense with the Vixens, it's, I think, um, a realistic goal for us to want to win the Premiership. Um, and with the, the Diamonds, I think it's a realistic goal for us to want to take out the World Championship. So they're the two major goals for me and, and the two teams that I'm playing with. Oh, look, I think you can always improve and, and, you know, you never... I don't think you can keep playing if you don't think that you can get any better and you just at a standstill. So for me, um, I'm looking to make sure uh, with the Thunderbirds, we've got a much younger side um, going into 2011 and we're definitely aiming to go back-to-back -back premierships. So for me, it's... Been being able to guide those younger players um, and try and um, support them in developing and, and improving their game as well as making sure that I can make some improvements in my own as well and also having the World Championships this year is uh, motivation enough to get out and, and train hard and try and find those um, one percenters to improve. Um, well t obviously the big goal of 2011 is to make that World Cup team but first and foremost um, now that I'm at the Melbourne Vixens to try and get myself in a position where I'm working well with those girls and getting some court time. So that's probably the first thing I'd really like to work on. I've been there for a little bit so far and, and really loving it. So I guess just, yeah, making sure that I make the most of being able to be at Melbourne. In 2011, I hope to have a, an injury-free and a consistent year with the Queensland Firebirds and to um, definitely make that final four. I think we um we deserve to to be there so that's definitely on the cards and something that i hope for and and to um to be named in that world cup side in in june July. um my goals definitely as i said would be to have a consistent year with the firebirds and i think if that happens hopefully you know i'll be pushing selection for that world championship team come july oh i think the end result is obviously to to be in that world championship team and obviously have the gold medal around our our neck and be ranked number one that's definitely the the major goal for 2011. um for 2011 to to win a premiership with the firebirds would be fantastic um it's going to be a very competitive season, I think, from what the other teams have picked up during the off-season. And, yeah, to be part of that 2011 um, World Championship team would, I think, just be icing on the cake. Um, to experience it, like I said, in 2007, it was unbelievable. And I was very young then, and a lot's happened in the past four years. So I'd certainly um, treasure that experience again if it came around. Keep on playing the best netball I can. You know, I'd Obviously, I'd love to make the World Championships and I'll keep on putting everything I can onto that. Well, I suppose it is an obvious question. Everyone's probably given the same answer. Um, obviously, with the Swifts, we want to correct last year's disaster. Um, go through undefeated, but keep going through undefeated in the finals. But with the Aussie stuff, it may well be my last stuff with Australia. I'm not too sure. I haven't officially made a decision on that one, but um, we do want to finish that year on a good note. Uh, 2011, I uh, would love to win another ANZ Championship with the New South, New South Wales Swifts. Um, and just obviously just play well and, um, as I said, t let the rest take care of itself. Yeah, it's pretty obvious, isn't it? In the World Championships.